Let's get straight to my exclusive interview with President Donald Trump. I asked America's first business president about his economic priorities for 2017 to kick off his first interview with the business network since taking office. Here's a bit of what he had to say on that. We are going to have tax reform at some point very soon. I think we're doing very well on health care. It's been very much misreported that we failed with health care. We haven't failed. We're negotiating, and we continue to negotiate. And we will save perhaps $900 billion. You know, if you look at, if you look at the kind of numbers that we're talking about, that's all going back into the taxes. And we have to do health care first to pick up additional money so that we get great tax reform. So we're going to have a phenomenal tax reform but I have to do health care first. I want to do it first to really do it right. And after that, we're going to start on tax reform and infrastructure. But do you have to do health care before tax reform? Yes. When I speak with business managers, they say tax reform is so much more impactful to moving the needle You're on right. economic growth. They're so all why right, but because I'm saving a tremendous amount, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars we're saving on health care. So we're going to have a much better plan than Obamacare, which is failing. Uh, tax reform is going to be tough, but it won't be as tough as health care. Health care is very, very difficult. Have you moved off of this soft deadline that your team put in place of August to get this done? Are you looking at the later in the year? So I don't want to put deadlines. Health care is going to happen at some point. Now, if it doesn't happen fast enough, I'll start the taxes. But the tax reform and the tax cuts are better if I can do health care first. What about infrastructure? How do you see it? When do you see it? Very soon. I see it as part, perhaps, of the health care plan because phase two of the health care plan, in order to get the votes, I need 60 percent for that. And if I put that in, the Democrats are actually going to love the infrastructure plans.